Hi everyone, welcome to my art cabin. Today I want to show you how I create a coral coloured canvas with gold leaf branches and stylized blossom in a chinoiserie style, which is my absolute favourite. So first of all, I've created the shade of coral that I love and I've mixed up some various emulsions actually. And I'm just coating the canvas with a couple of coats to make it really solid, flat background going around all the edges as well. Then I'm going to loosely draw on the branch shapes. So the glue that we use with gold leafing is actually called Size and this one is acrylic so it's water based and it's really easy to use if I can actually get the jar open. Okay, so it's a clear glue and we just brush it on to the canvas wherever we want the metal leaf to stick. So you can sort of see in the light where I'm applying the glue so just, I'm lightly going over my pencil lines um, with some thicker areas for thicker branches and thin bits. And then what I'm going to do when I finish that, I have to leave it to dry for at least 15 minutes, which is like a curing time. Um, and then I'm going to show you how I apply the gold leaf to this size. So I have a confession to make. I lost the video footage of when I applied the gold leaf, but I think it's going to work okay. You can see that what I've done is I've torn off strips of my very delicate sheets of gold leaf and I've literally just placed them onto all the areas where the branches are. And then I've left that to dry for a couple of hours at least. And then at that stage I can start to brush away the excess gold revealing the lovely branches underneath, hopefully. This is a very satisfying process. Sometimes if you realize some of the glue hasn't stuck, you can go back and repair things, um, add in extra branches, but brushing away and revealing the branches is just really lovely. Then I keep all my extra little bits of gold leaf and I keep them in my magical jar of gold. Um, I read somewhere that they're called skewings, all these extra bits that you get, but they're really useful because you can use those again for other projects.
So just finishing up clearing off the excess gold on the canvas and that's looking really nice. So the first stage of creating my stylized blossom is I have painted some kind of basic looking white acrylic blossom shapes, so each with five petals and little buds. Um, and from, actually needed three coats of acrylic to get a really solid white. And I'm gonna start to add some details to the blossoms which I'm gonna show you. So this painting is actually commissioned for a friend and she was inspired by a really small painting that I did a couple of years ago. Um, very much kind of just stylized, but I also really like to create realistic looking blossom. Blossom is one of my favorite subjects for painting, but it's gonna be fun for you to see how I build up layers of detail to create the look that I really love. I hope you like it too. To create these sweeping lines I use a brush called a rigger, so it has long bristles and what you can do is you can just start at the bottom and you sweep up and you get a line with a tapered end. So as usual, when it gets to the end of my painting, I can't stop myself, I just keep adding more and more details, going over things. Um, it's difficult sometimes to know when to stop, <laughs> but that's what I do. Anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed this video and watching how I've created this painting. And please subscribe if you'd like to see more inspiration. See you soon, bye.